Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Philly. We went thrifting today, because that's what we do every day. We love what we do, sort of, kind of, sometimes, maybe not, but really we do. <laughs> um, whew, okay, so I left for thrifting late. Like, I'm talking. Usually when I wake up, it's usually around seven because then I let my I walk my dog for like half an hour and then I just chill answer emails respond to messages then I take my shower blah 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 then I leave my apartment around like nine o'clock in the morning but today we left at like noon why do you ask well this bitch was busy watching the UFOs again we were watching the UFO came up again it did it's literally like right by my window in my apartment I don't know what's going on, but this time it was only one UFO. Like clockwork, it came up like around, I think I noticed it around, yeah, around 2 a.m. again. And then I just was watching it and I just could not go back to sleep because I'm like, this motherfucker is trying to beat me up and do tests on me, sexually molest me or some shit like that. Um, so I, I just could not fall back asleep and I just ended up, um, yeah, just trying to sleep but not really so i'll try to sleep but wake up watch it try to sleep again watch it again <sighs> it, was, it was odd and then by the time i woke up around seven to take my dog out it was gone because it's like i don't know because the light was around i don't know it doesn't seem to be around during the daytime <laughs> anyway so i had like a really um well i woke up at seven to take my dog out to walk we walked for like half an hour he did his business but then I uh, was just, beca I became lazy and I just went back to bed. So we were done our walk. What time did I take him out? I think I took him out earlier today, like around seven, quarter after seven. I think we got back at like eight and I was just on my phone doing stuff at eight. And I was just like, fuck this shit. I'm just going back to bed. So I went back to bed and I didn't wake up till like um, 11. Ooh, that guy's cute. 11.30 maybe. And I didn't leave till noon. Anyway, we went to... Uh, okay, we went to Garden City Value Village, and then we went to Garden City Salvation Army. Then we went to Sherbrooke Salvation Army, and it was a shit show over there. I don't know. This lady was just, like, very rude, and, like, I don't know. I felt sorry for her, actually. Even though she was yelling at the staff and being very rude, she was, like, yelling at them unprovoked. Like, they didn't provoke her to yell, to, to, be, to warrant being yelled at. But she just kept yelling at them and even though i felt bad for the workers i kind of felt bad for her like who knows what she's going through mentally i think that shows growth in me because i actually was going to interfere i was going to interfere interfere what the fuck it should be intervene and bring out the ghetto i was like yo bitch don't be yelling at the staff here they do nothing to you but i was like i don't know what she's going through and even then you shouldn't kind of come at someone like that you know <laughs> so i just kind of like i would have intervened if it got violent because i feel like i'm a big boned bitch and I can intervene and do my good deed if someone is trying to hurt someone. Anyway, <laughs> so that was that. And then we, so that's one, two, three. Then we went to Pembina Valley Village, Pembina Salvation Army. Now we're at Regent Valley Village, so six. And I'm going to go to uh, the Salvation Army over here. I didn't throw for Daniel because he has like an event, like one of those Avenger events with his girlfriend. It's like one of those witchy ones where it's like witch shit. So he's up there doing his black magic witch shit selling anyway um yeah we found nothing all day i went to wendy's because i've been craving a baconator burger so i had that it wasn't as good as i remembered but whatever ate that and then um i didn't even get a coffee today so but yeah we found oh oh my god guys never mind i'm gonna i don't know if i want to tell you guys <laughs> And I stopped by the, oh, Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree because everything is inexpensive. Like everything is $1.50 or less. Not like Dollarama, which everything can be up to $5. And I ain't paying no $5 at no dollar store, okay? Um, I am so spoiled when it comes to buying bread at the Dollar Tree. Because at Dollarama, their bread is like $2.50. At Dollar Tree, it's $1.50. Then when you go to a normal grocery store, they're bread can be up to like three four dollars i am so spoiled only paying a dollar fifty for bread that if i pay anything more than a dollar fifty for bread i feel like i'm getting ripped off unless it's like one of those gourmet shit breads like sourdough or croissants or 
um, I don't know what else bread there is, but those nice bala, bougie kind of bitch bread. Um, anyway, we got Texas toast, 100% whole wheat. No artificial flavors and colors. So $1.50 is $1.50. I ain't paying no mo than $1.50 for bread unless it's that gourmet shit. So we got that. I'm out of water, but I'm just so lazy to carry a 12 pack of water up my stairs. So I just got this to tide me till tomorrow. Pure life water. I haven't drinking, drinking, drank, drunk water, like real water, like bottled water like this in like almost a week. I've been kind of just really um, surviving on uh, uh, carbonated water. But sometimes I like water like this because it's just, it just makes you feel like really, really hydrated without the carbonation of the, oh my God, there's these chocolate brothers over here that I would do a bukkake with. I was gonna show you guys, but they already walked away. Anyway, um, Diet Coke, obsessed with Diet Coke. And then, what else did we get? I wanna try these cookies. Granada, which I actually like the brand Granada cookies, whole grain cookies, crunchy cook -o. Um, 150 calories for two. Carbs are only, oh, okay. Carbs are only 16 with two for fiber, so really 14. Cholesterol is 0 0.5. So this will be a good time in my mouth. I haven't had one of these in such a long time. I think since I was a kid. The dairy milk fruit and nut. I remember I'd get so pissed as a kid when I would get this, the fruit and nut, because I didn't want fruit or nut in my chocolate. I just wanted chocolate chocolate. <laughs> I'd get this for Halloween. I'd be like, no. Um, oh, this is kind of interesting. I wanted to try. Tetley cold infusions for water bottles. So this is kind of cool. Mint, lemon, and cucumber. Oh my God. I feel like that at my spa that I used to always go to here, it's called 10 Spa, best spa in Winnipeg. Um, they always had this mint cucumber lemon infusion water in the bathroom. Oh my God, it tastes so good and so refreshing. I might make a picture of this actually. Flavored herbal tea water enhance enhancer. Sugar-free, caffeine-free, natural flavors. Um, zero cal, zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein, 20 milligrams of sodium, not too bad, 30 milligrams of potassium. And the ingredients are white hibiscus, <laughs> hibiscus, hibiscus, hibiscus. Peppermint leaves, apples, natural flavors, roasted chicory root. Mm -hmm, that sounds like a interesting chicory root. Cucumber. So all natural ingredients. This shall be healthy as fuck. I'm such a like cheap ass. I went to the to Salvation Army to donate, and I kept my 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 garbage bag. I am wasting no garbage bags. These garbage bags are expensive. I get them from Dollarama because I like the ones that are really really thick. And it's freaking five garbage bags for four dollars. So it's like literally like ninety two cents per bag. I'm wasting no shake of it to no fucking Salvation Army. Screw that. I want my bag back. That's for sure. Um, what else? Oh, with my um Wendy's thing, I got uh, a side salad because I have some chicken salad left that I made three days ago. It's going to go bad soon. So I want to kind of sprinkle it on top of my salad, sans the Caesar, and then make it into like a chicken salad salad. And I'll probably have that for dinner later. <laughs> um, okay, so we found this here, which is a long chomp, $3.79, authentic faux shizzle. But the corner wire is significant, but that doesn't really bother me because I know that it's repairable in some way. Like if you sew it, the handles are intact and it's overall in good quality. Like the handles aren't ripped or anything. It's just a corner wear and these bags are prone to corner wear. There's no bubbling in this, in the nylon. So overall it's a decent. I mean, the, um, you guys remember the Longchamp backpack that I thrifted where they replaced the zipper pull? I paid like $3 and some change for that and I sold it for 10. So I'm still making money, even though it's like nickel and diming whatever and i think that's it guys i think that's it we're gonna go over to salvation army i've been watching Anne eckhart her father died it's so sad because i've been watching her for a decade guys a decade i remember i had like a love-hate relationship with Anne eckhart first i loved her and then i was like not <laughs> and i would leave passive aggressive comments on her videos um i think she told me off once and then after that i was like damn you know, and then I loved her again. I love her. I love Anne Eckhart. She reminds me of like, not her, like her, her 
I would consider her channel like a program. So her program and her life reminds me of Roseanne. And Roseanne is like my all time favorite show of all time. So, cause she's like a blue collar working woman in the Midwest. <laughs> and that's exactly what Roseanne was. Um, but yeah, her life reminds me of like Roseanne where it's just hardworking, blue collar, real people in real life. Um, but yeah, everything that she mentioned today, like I literally can relate with, especially that thing she said about death, how her dad died three weeks ago and then it's, oh damn, that woman has such an amazing body. Wow. Wow. Hello. Motivation. Anyway, um, she was talking about how it's August now and she, she, she can never say her dad was alive in August, 2023. Oh my God, that guy's cute too. Are they just a bunch of hotties all together? Hello. Oh, they're like a roofing company. No wonder. If I had a home renovation, I would hire them. Oh God, his muscles are big. Dang. Anyway, sorry. But yeah, um, but yeah, she was just seeing a lot of relate. She's just so relatable. Even with like being like depressed and down and not wanting to do anything at night. I'm like that too. I don't want to do anything at night. I don't want to do anything in period. <laughs> but mine is more like superficial uh, and vanity. Like I only don't want to do anything because I feel like a fat buck. She doesn't want to do anything because she just doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> but, trust me, if I was skinny and I was like, um, yeah, if I was skinnier, I'd be more sociable. I'd be more energetic. I'd be more fun, I guess. But at the moment, I'm not. <sighs> but yeah, so we're going to head over to Salvation Army. Check it out. See if there's anything. Oh, and so Valley Village had prescription contacts for sale. That's not legal. I know for a fact that's illegal because a lot of people used to be able, used to be able to sell colored contacts, non-prescription legally in Canada. And then they banned it. They banned it like a few years ago, like two years ago. So Valley Village, you're doing something illegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the Salvation Army.